Hello, Voltrex Development. I know it's been a while since I have um, made a music bot video, but we're going to just get right into it since I've kept you guys waiting. And we're just going to do a complete queue. So, right off the bat, I'm just going to start with the rest. Ignore this file. I was testing things out. Oh, forgot. Let me just make that bigger for you. Sorry about that. There we go. That should be easy to see. So now we're going to make a new function. So static async decode, which we're going to all take a track as well. So we can just copy this from here. And then we're just going to return. Uh, we can just copy basically everything since we're fetching from the same place, except we're going to decode the track. And the parameter is going to be a track as well. We'll need this for decoding a track, obviously. So now we're going to make a queue. And we shouldn't need, uh, we'll only need the rest. So we'll require that from the rest. Cool. So now we'll just export a class named queue. And we'll just make a constructor. And we'll need a player. So now we're just going to do this.tracks, well we need to do this.player equals player. Um, then we need this.tracks, which equals an empty array. This.loop, which is going to be a string of nothing. And then this dot, I guess, should be about it. Yeah. So player.on. End, which will be the async, and we'll have the event here. If you uh, managed to get the last time that I did this series, you should know where I'm going with this part. So we're just going to check if there's an event and make an array of replaced and stopped if it includes the event that reason. If so, we're just going to return. So then we check if this dot loop equals song this dot tracks dot unshift which puts it to the front um this dot oh that's what i'm missing this dot current we're just gonna make it undefined uh, this dot current else if this dot loop equals q then we're just going to push it actually because it will just keep on pushing the queue into the, well, we also need to start current to track. And then we can call method this.next, which we'll be making this um, method in a second. So we're going to check a few things. If um, there's no this.message, dot and we'll make also a message parameter too which is just going to be undefined as well because we're going to define that you'll see later if there's no guild or uh this dot message dot guild dot me dot voice dot channel and then we're just going to return this dot end and we'll give it a reason of question mark and now we need to check um, the voice channel. So, if um, there's, we already checked that. So, if this dot message dot guild dot me dot voice dot channel dot members dot size equals one, then we're just going to return this dot end empty. So. Now we now we finally check if there's no this dot current. We're just going to return again this dot end um, empty, and we should change this to um, empty VC. Could be really whatever, but then we're just going to await player dot play this dot current dot song. And then we need a start event as well. Um, sorry for not explaining everything, but 
basically the start is when a new track is started. This is when the track ends, so we then we can shift it over and play the next track. So we're going to just structure um, the title. What else should we need? And the length. And we'll just require. And eh, we won't need the length actually. It doesn't matter. Well, I'm going to await rest that decode this dot current dot song. Then we're just going to send a message to the channel. Uh, I'll get an emoji because um, say music notes. And we'll just do like a uh, now or playing this uh, our title requester so we know who requested it and we'll just do a mention okay so that should be all we need here and I will make um, our ad so we'll need a song and an ID which then we can just return this that tracks that push song and the ID then we'll also need a next uh, method as we called right here so then we just this is just returning um this dot current equals this dot tracks dot shift so it's taking the first track of the array so index of zero and making this dot current and it's also going to shift the track so then um so then the first track is only in the current do you know what i mean then we'll make our end event with our reason. We'll make it a switch case. And then we'll make the case of a question mark, which will also be the default. And we'll just return await this. And we'll need to make this async. This dot um, destroy. We'll make this, um, actually we'll just make it right now. And then we just return this dot player dot manager dot destroy this dot message that guilted ID. Then uh, we can also make a case of empty. We can await this dot destroy. And then we can just return a message saying, um, oops, the queue. Now yeah, we'll just do. The queue has ran out of songs to play. I'll be leaving now. This is HostingBot, a cheap, fast and reliable hosting company. They provide many services, such as virtual private servers, hybrid servers, dedicated servers and website hosting. Starting at such a cheap price, you can get a 10 gigabit per second port speed. This is perfect for music bots. Perhaps you cannot afford a price like this. Maybe we can interest you with 30% off each month. Enter the code VOLTREX in the promo code and you will be able to get this VPS as low as just over $3 a month. If you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. So that's just a simple and then we can do our empty VC. And then that should just um, be basically the same. And then we'll just write, um, well, nobody is in the voice channel anymore, so I'll I'll be leaving now. Makes sense. So then, other than that, we should just be able. Yes. So then we can make our async start, which takes a message. Um, then we'll make this that message to this as a um, setting everything like um, so we get so the channel isn't undefined. Actually, we should um, change it from ch from message to just channel. So actually, let me change that real quick. You don't have to, but that's just what I'm going to do. Actually, never mind. 
uh, or else we have everything else here. Anyways, the set message. Then we need to check if there's no current. If so, then we'll just do next. And then we'll do await this.player.play. This.current.song. So, uh, the next thing is optional. You don't have to have this method, but we'll be using it. So, just a loop. It's the type. Then we just check if um, type of type does not equal a string or um, it doesn't contain key song or queue. Then we'll just return this that loop. Cool. Then we'll just do um, return um, this dot loop um, equals um, type that two lowercase. Then it's going to do this dot loop equals undefined or this dot loop equals type that two lowercase and then that should be the whole queue finished so now we have everything done here we got rid of code then we also have our queue looks good so now we're gonna make changes to our play command so we're going to have to get rid of this line and um, I didn't change this, but you should, if you watch the how to host a um, music bot 24-7 on our sponsor, Hosting Bot. Alright, so anyways, yes, if you did see that video, you'll see that I changed that, but here I did not. But anyways, so we're going to remove basically... All of this. So I'm gonna keep this very simple, and I'm not going to allow. I'm not going to show um, um track selection. I'll probably do that towards the end of the series by cleaning some code up or whatever. But I'll definitely do it sometime in the series. So if track loaded or search result that includes, and we'll have to destructure load type. So if it does, um, then we're just going to add, uh, then we're going to check if there's no player.q as it's undefined, then player.q, and we'll have to import the queue as well. Cool. Equals new q which takes a player and then we're also going to just add the um, track so player dot q dot add um, tracks zero dot track and then we'll just add the message dot author dot id and then we're going to check if player is not connected then we're going to await player dot connect to the voice channel and then we'll also check for the same thing if player is not playing and player is not paused then we're going to await um, player dot q dot start message calling our um, start method then we're just going to send a message saying um, then we'll take the emoji from the q right here queued up and then we'll just do tracks zero that info that title and then that should be about it but we should also um do playlist so if load type equals playlist and a more efficient way we could actually put this to a switch case but we'll just do that for our sanity so track 
loaded. And this is actually useful if we do um, track selection in the future, which we will be. Turn this. Then we'll also do a case of playlist loaded, in which that case we'll need a playlist info. We're almost done, don't worry. And then we'll basically do about the same, but instead we're going to tracks.map t. Um, player dot Q and actually a better way to do this would check right here which said to copy paste twice player dot Q that add T dot track and then we're also going to do this as well. So then we can also just take this message as well. Queued up. And then we'll add this to the end. So we'll do playlist dot name. And then we'll also add um, playlist. And we'll add the amount of songs. So tracks that length which then should be good everything looks good to me so now we should be able to start the bot so we'll just exit out of this and open up a terminal actually there's a reason why I did this because then I can just swipe up here. I have Java already running. So now we should be able to do no dot. When everything works correctly, we should now be able to move over to Discord. All right, now that we're in Discord, we should be able to play a song now with um, the queue. I'm gonna defend myself. And we're just going to play whatever. Guess it doesn't like links, does it? Um, it's just gonna play whatever whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Um, but here, see it plays. Um, I'm pretty sure this is copyrighted, so can't show it. But you can kind of see that it's working here. And if you keep adding songs, I tested this off camera. It works. So, hopefully, this helped you. I'm, I'm sorry for not uploading in a while. I'll get back to a better upload schedule. But for now, goodbye.